Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about the role of marketing in the economic development. I am Dr. Soundara Raj. This is a small introduction about me. This is about my area of specialization in teaching and research. Role of marketing in the economic development. No one could deny the fact that marketing through its functions contributes a lot for the economic development of any country. Marketing has acquired an incredible place in the economic development of a country. It has also become a necessity for attaining the objective of social welfare. As a result of it, marketing is considered to be the most important activity in any business enterprise irrespective of its size and operations. That is the reason why we evidence that number of successful business enterprises are headed by marketing people. Marketing people occupy the high positions in successful business enterprises of the world. The significance of marketing for the economic development may be discussed with a few points. Marketing is a determinant of standard of living of people. By offering luxurious and sophisticated products, marketing paves a way to meet out the left out or unmet needs and wants of the consumers. It enhances the standard of living of people by making them to buy and consume sophisticated products or products of status symbol and other luxurious services. Marketing not only meets out the demand, it also creates demand for the goods and services that results in expanding the size of the product market. By way of promoting the marketing offers of various companies belong to various industries, it helps such companies to expand the market size for their products and services. The next point we could discuss here is it is an important responsibility of marketing that controlling the cost of distribution through innovative marketing practices such as e-tailing, adoption of modern storage facilities, the companies can reduce their distribution cost to a greater extent. This eventually results in reduction of price of the products and services and finally results in increased affordability of the consumers. Marketing also contributes a lot for increase in employment opportunities through its various functions like advertising, branding, packaging, research and development, logistics and communication. It provides employment opportunities to many people. Through that, the purchasing power of those people who are also consumers of various products is enhanced. Marketing would make the product capable of being brought to markets instead of perishing on the way through its functions like proper transportation, storage, and many other you know activities it brings the products from the point of production to the point of consumption it also offers four different set of utilities to the products and that contributes for monetizing the perishable products before they are perished Marketing enables the consumers to obtain the greatest value for his very limited purchasing power. With the purchasing power you are blessed with, you can buy 
what you are able to buy it is not that the products are available in a quantity which is not really suitable for you to buy within your limited purchasing power you can buy shampoo for a single penny or one rupee in the case of india it is the shampoo is available in sachet packing there is an indian company which is a pioneer in introducing sachet pack which is nothing but kevin care limited by offering shampoo for a price of 1 rupee might be a very small quantity which could be used by a person for a day it has enabled the poorest of the poor to buy and use shampoo marketing is an economy's arbiter between productive capacity and consumer demand it really maintains a strategic fit between the productive capacity available with the companies belong to various industries and the demand for the products available in the market it maintains a good fit, fit between these two aspects although marketing cannot create purchasing power no way it could create purchasing power of the consumers however it can uncover and direct that purchasing power already exists with the people that is very important marketing requires a money system to be effective many underdeveloped economies have significant non monetized economic segments which stunts growth at a very low level specifically i would say the segments like which produce agricultural products much of the agricultural products go waste because of uh, lack of marketing activities now by the adoption of proper marketing activities might be in the rural areas or by adopting the technological advancements like whatsapp a street vendor is able to make use of whatsapp to market or showcase you know his products to his uh, selective customers you know the special customers in his list are the customers who are being served by him regularly so that is a kind of thing so non monetized segments could also be monetized and contribute for the economic development it's because of marketing in service industry like tourism banking insurance entertainment hospitality medical care and much more marketing plays an incredible role that eventually results in economic growth marketing really facilitates such organizations which involve in service offering or provision of service to their target consumers by way of promoting them meticulously effective marketing leads to exports that add to national income is the next point of concern here marketing facilitates entrepreneurial initiatives which result in effective utilization of the available resources like capital labor land technology intellectual properties etc so the entrepreneurial initiatives are encouraged and therefore the existing resources of the country could be effectively utilized and contribute for a better economic development it ensures industrial growth through efficient promotion of the products of companies attracting capital investments towards the business enterprises through creation of demand for marketing offers by way of promoting the marketing offers among the targeted consumers it enables business enterprises to get into new business projects or to develop and market new products and services and therefore they are in need of much more capital investments which could be which could be mobilized from the financial intermediaries through the activities of marketing this is what the idea of this particular point 
so with that let me wind up this video thanks for watching this video if you like the video you please subscribe my channel thanks for watching everyone